Yeah. <laughs> I'll flip. Hey, why do you still have this toe strap on here? Forgot about yesterday. Honda is running extraordinary well. Got the idle down from the last video. It is doing an awesome job. You're probably wondering what this tow rope is for here for. The Arctic Cat, on the other hand, is just not wanting to crank. He had to run home and grab the tow strap. So I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. We've been out for about 40 minutes. And uh, it wasn't running great. We stopped here on the bridge. We're just kind of, you know, hanging out here, taking in the scenery. And uh, Arctic Cat just didn't want to crank back up. So I'm hoping it's just a low battery, but we are going to tow it home. I'm not too excited for this because these tires throw up a ton of rocks <laughs> and dirt, so definitely take it slow on me. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get on this journey and bring in the Arcat home and see what's going on with it. So we've taken the Arctic Cat on a couple of rides and it keeps losing power and just draining the battery. We're not sure what's draining it. It could be the bulb that I put in the tail light that could be draining it because it's constantly on or it could be the fan up front. I wouldn't think it should be the fan because I think that is supposed to be on while you're riding. Uh, I did go ahead and buy a new rectifier. We also have, I have it plugged up somewhere or trying to plug it up. I was going to go on a ride and go ahead and keep an eye on the voltage as we were cruising around just kind of see what drained the battery and uh, before we put the new rectifier on and to kind of show you guys how fast it drains, usually you can ride the four-wheeler for like an hour or so for it starts, you know, kind of trying to die out. As for actually hooking up the voltage meter, we're going to go directly to the battery for the time being, but we're not going to leave it that way because this obviously will stay on with the bike turned off. It's directly to the battery and we're trying to get rid of draining the battery. So we're gonna to try to hook it up to this little cigarette lighter port over here. We already got it unbuttoned and we hooked it up, but we're not getting any power to it because this obviously is supposed to come on with the key on, which would be perfectly to keep an eye on the voltage because we don't want that meter constantly running. But unfortunately we unplugged it all and we're not getting any power to these wires up here. So that's a whole nother issue we gotta figure out, but that's where I kind of want to put the voltage meter is right here where the cigarette lighter is at. So the key on, it turns on and obviously with the key off, it'll stay turned off. So we're gonna go ahead and put the plastics and everything back on, hook up the voltage meter, kind of give you guys uh, before and afters of riding around and kind of show you guys. So hopefully, once we come back, obviously the battery will be a little bit lower than we're getting right now with it turned off. 13.1. So starting off with 13.1, had a little trickle charge all night, but when we get back, we're gonna go ahead and throw the rectifier on and see if that solves our issue with uh, the battery dying on us. When I say we've been riding for a matter of five minutes, 10 minutes? Five, not even five minutes. Five, I mean, we literally just got on the dirt road right by the house. The voltmeter is showing 13 and I did not have this plugged up. Well, now it's not even, there it goes. Showing 13, which you would think would be just enough, but I'm not getting the fan come on, the neutral light's not coming on, anything. And I, it's been on the trickle charge all last night, so it had plenty enough battery, as you guys seen before we got on the ride. So hopefully it's just a low battery and the rectifier will uh, fix it. But we'll catch back up with you guys once we get to the house. Have the old rectifier off. It takes a minute to get it off of here. It looks like it's just pretty much melted on the main wiring harness side of things. So hopefully we can get it to work with the new rectifier. But like Jonathan was just saying, it might have just got too hot and just in the wrong voltage. And it's pretty much, pretty much melted it. So hopefully I don't have to replace all of this. But uh, we're going to slap the new one on and see if it makes a difference. We've also had the battery on charge too. So we'll try to get back out there and uh, see if it works. We have the new rectifier on. We had to move some pins around, so we're using the old connector. This is a new connector. I, had to, I don't even know where I put it at this point. But there was like a white thing on the inside. It was not letting us plug into the stock wiring harness. So we had to swap some wires around, got it working. Threw the, actually the Honda battery in here because we were having problems starting it again. But now it looks like everything's working correctly. I think we just had jiggled something free down here. We tested the continuity to the key switch. We weren't getting any power to it. We had 13 volts on his battery, so we knew that we had voltage. Um, so we tested all that. We weren't getting power, so I was like, okay, there's only one power wire coming from the battery. It's going to the starting solenoid. So I took the fuse out. It looked good. And then I pressed down on that red plug right there. I didn't feel it go down, but as soon as I did that, uh, we heard the fans yeah, turn on. The so. fans turn back on. It's about the red plug right here on the starting solenoid. 
So we don't know, maybe we just jiggled it free on the trail, but usually it doesn't die that quick. Uh, I mean, we were five minutes, we had just turned onto the dirt, dirt road and it uh, turned right off. So I'm hoping that maybe it just jiggled free. Get in 13.19 with it turned off. Been a few hours. I'm gonna go ahead and check the volts. 13.30. I think the rectifier fixed the issue for the Arctic Cat, so that is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and check the battery on the Honda as well. Here's good. 
No charging issues here. <laughs> That's a Honda. I like my car. <laughs> like a car. But gonna go ahead and end the video out here, guys. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Next video is probably gonna be doing the wheel bearings on both of them, so stay tuned, and we will see you in that video. Thank you.